This is Steven, like Steven Universe. And this is Ariel, like the Little Mermaid. This is the glass harmonica, and it was invented by Ben Franklin in 1761. Wait, hold on. Are you telling me like Ben Franklin is the reason why we have like that glass kind of like music thing? Yeah, not exactly. Actually, people have been making music with glasses like this for quite some time, as early as the 1300s. And Ben Franklin got the idea for this by watching someone named Edward Husey Delaval play a bunch of glasses. Edward Husey Delaval was a fellow scientist, and Franklin wrote all about him to one of his other science friends. In one of these letters to his science friend, Franklin wrote a description of what would become the glass harmonica. Only he called it the glassy chord, which is a terrible name. Anyway, he was so charmed by the sounds of these glasses that he wanted to make a way that people could play it more easily. I don't get how they got glass to look like this. I don't. All of these glasses are a little harder to tune. If you just find a glass lying around, you change the pitch by adding just the right amount of water. Now, water evaporates and it's hard to keep these in tune and hard to tune them in the first place. These had to be hand blown, custom made bowls and they were tuned with a grinding process, which left most of them broken. So for every hundred that they made, usually only one survived. So each one of these bowls has about 99 broken ones in order to allow it to be there. To make glass at that time, there was two options. They could either make soda lime glass or lead glass. And guess what? Both of them contain lead. So if you're touching lead, you can get lead poisoning just from playing the glass harmonica. And there's a hole in each one. Franklin designed a cork to be put in the bottom of each one. That way, a, an axle can be put all the way through it. So even though this one is turned with a crank, this recreation, Franklin's design has it attached to a foot pedal. The musician would pedal it with their foot in order to make the axle turn. Then they could move their hands up and down the notes to play a music. And this harmonica actually was Ben Franklin's harmonica, the one and only. And wills are a great way to trace different artifacts to know where they originally came from. So when Ben Franklin passed away, he gave this to his daughter's husband. This was gifted to the Franklin Institute from a direct descendant from Ben Franklin. He continued to play the glass harmonica up till his death. And at the time of his death, over a thousand of his glass harmonicas had been made. And he never collected any money on them because he refused to patent this instrument which I really like because that means he made it in order to be shared with everyone. He wanted everyone to be able to hear the amazing sounds from this peculiar instrument. And he liked it so much he even said this, and I quote, of all my inventions, the glass harmonica has given me the greatest personal satisfaction. That is, that's beautiful. So, thank you for joining us today. We were actually just talking about this glass harmonica because January, January 17th is Ben Franklin's birthday. And that weekend, we're gonna celebrate his birthday on the 18th and the 19th to just appreciate all of his innovations and science at the Franklin Institute.